a shout out to uh, Kevin and Becky. They're not YouTubers, but they are such good followers. Uh, she's going to love this because Horsey actually vacuums the house. <gasps> Why do you keep trying if it doesn't pick up? Oops, don't know what happened to it. Oh. My wife's beautiful pantry. Trust me, when you're gone, you will get dust bunnies and cobwebs. I don't know how that happens. I hate spiders with a passion. I don't just hate, I am scared to death of spiders. I will run over you if you're three years old to get away from me. Okay, R2-D2, get out of the way. While we was gone and some of the house chores got neglected, we were at a great YouTube event. A good shout out to the Croppers for holding such a good time. I watched Jason and Danielle's coffee and it was just easy going and such a great time. Got to meet new friends. We got the Leonard Mountain. Super good people. Tom and Rhonda. He finally earned his Uncle Tom. He is now Uncle Tom. And we have Let's Trade Paint, Rebel at Heart, all these people we met, trust me. If you go check their channel out, super good people, great people. I know Kevin and Becky's got to be kicking their heels up and I'm backing them in the house. Hey, while the worst wife's working, the husband does a job. Isn't that what you ladies say? Oh, you think it's so easy at your work. Well, 
being retired for two years, I kind of agree with him. But then again, I milled two logs before I started this. Oh yeah. Shout out to Paragon Ranch too. Jeremy and Chrissy, great people. Great people. And they're exactly the kind of interaction that I grew up with. Competitive, but got good spirit. They've taught their kids the same way. Uh, Bago, I know how my brother gets and how his son gets. It's not competition, it's life and death with them. Come on, R2. Take long when you live on a dirt road, let me tell you people. Time to do a little clean out. All right, we're back online. If nobody's seen Resourceful Living, Our Homestead, Money Kathy's, uh, I'm kind of getting a preview while I'm vacuuming. You got the living, and then you got the kitchen that is what my wife wanted. She did not want a one butt kitchen. She's got a 20 buck kitchen. We got all of our kids here, they help her. And everybody does her part. We got amazing kids. There's a gun in the corner. Should I be worried that it's going to shoot me? It's been standing there for a month. I thought guns were dangerous. No. It's the idiot behind the trigger that's dangerous. Oh, the one vacuuming around it can make it knock over, but hey, the reality of it is guns are not dangerous. Leonard Mountain. He is a guy, <coughs> let me tell you, Chris and Amy are a pair, match made in heaven. He is a man after my heart. It's not the bottom shelf you're looking for. It is true. Corn, squeeze, moonshine, mountain, 
Leonard. <laughs> Those guys got it going on. They got a couple of others that I think I subscribed to. They got the same interest in heart. Uh, love America, love God. Kind of goes hand in hand. Why are we here? Good God. They don't take but just a little bit for cowboys to start showing up. People, if you ain't lived on a dirt road, you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. From Leonard Mountain, I know Amy and my wife, they were looking for swimsuits to go swimming at this get together. Chris and I kind of standing back watching what was happening. I thought they were going to get some kind of tiger print thing until I was asked if I was going to wear one, I'm like, done. Not going to expect the ladies to wear one if I don't. Women, if your men are too good to bow down and cook and vacuum the house, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's all I can say. Oh my gosh, we got canola oil. Imagine that. Fried stuff is not healthy. So we, we eat healthy, we eat fried stuff. We are resourceful living because there ain't such thing as scrap. We reuse everything. Um, that's our loft. That is my grandfather's flag. He was a World War I veteran. That flag has 48 stars. Chris and Amy from Leonard Mountain, I know you appreciate that. Well, this is the Haven. This Video is going to be about the uh, mudroom. Of course, between the wife and I, me doing all the electrical and her doing her uh, picket boards, she built a great mudroom for me. This is I come out of the field. I can drop trowel right here in the laundry room, mud room, and not track anything inside the house. This is where she alone built a great shower. This is my shower. 
She done a fantastic job in this room. I did the plumbing and the electrical, and that was it. Rest of what you're seeing is what she created. So let's clean up this. Guys, if you don't appreciate your wife, you better step back and watch what she does. I may have a unique one. I think a lot of guys out there got great wives that do great things. Oh, Mal, excuse the cat turds. I hate cats. He is a nuisance, but Kathy and I love him. That's another story. Right now, it's about this mudroom my wife built me. I give her the idea of the flooring that I wanted in here. And she makes things happen. I mean, you give that woman a little bit of lead rope, and dude, you just let the horsey do its thing. She does her thing. Some part of it. I'm almost in the way. Other part of it, she's in the way. But guys, it's supposed to be a mirror out there. Um, she's looking for a new one. Anyway, that woman built me a mudroom the first shower we had in this house. Let me tell you, <clears throat> we were showering in the shop. In zero degree weather before we had this. She built me a shower. She put her husband inside the best mudroom he could ever want. Look at this thing. She did a beautiful job. The only credit I can say is I did, the, I did the electrical, tin roof, plumbing, and a toilet. But look at the design. We both have a vision. She may critique mine, but she does a great job okay now we're creeping into mine and kathy's uh territory she wanted to make doors for our closet
And this one goes to our bathroom. Listen, guys. Like the mudroom she created, she made it this. Made it? Is that a word? She made it this. There's no curtain, no doors, open shower. Guys, I have seen. We don't want to leave, leave out the guest. The guest. And again, my wife, she did all the wall. I did all the electrical and the roof and plumbing electrical on the roof, plumbing. She built all the showers. Did an amazing job. So proud of her. This is the guest shower bath. If you don't follow, please hit subscribe, notification, Another look from this angle. This is Brian and Kathy's resourceful living homestead. Join us every time, please. Until next time.